a really fun event that is coming up in just a few weeks in October, a little over a month, October 12th from 9.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Palazzo Grand in, on Van Dyke Road in Shelby Township, a great event that's supporting the Meadowbrook Theater through the Meadowbrook Theater Guild. It's called Bewitched and Bedazzled. And joining us now to discuss this fun this fundraiser that really emphasizes in all capital letters the fun part of that word is Jenny Welch, the president of the Meadowbrook Theater Guild, as well as Melinda Reber, the publicity chair as well. Thank you both for being with us today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, glad to have you both with us today to talk about Bewitched and Bedazzled. This is a really fun event. I took a look at some of the pictures from last year. We have some of those we'll sprinkle in throughout our discussion on this event today. But uh, Jenny, let's begin with you. Tell us about the Meadowbrook Theater Guild, the work that you do in our local area to support one of our great local theaters at the Meadowbrook Theater. The Theater Guild was established in 1977. To Our main goal is to support Meadowbrook Theater, which is a gem of a theater in uh, a little bit of Broadway in our backyard. And uh, we do two fundraisers a year to support the theater along with many other activities um, such as meet and greets and host tech suppers and assist with their big fundraiser in the summer concert and cuisine. So everything is uh, focused at supporting theater. And then we have a lot of fun uh, doing it and with our social activities. Yeah, the Matterbrook Theater located in Rochester, but really is is a beacon of entertainment for the entire Oakland County area. And that certainly is on display at this event you have coming up in October. Uh, Melinda, Bewitched and Bedazzled. We spoke on the phone a couple weeks ago about this as we were getting ready for a discussion on it today. And it sounds like it's a really fun event that, that really brings people out, brings their spirit and their personalities out on display, but also for a good cause. So for those that may be interested in attending this luncheon, tell us about Bewitched and Bedazzled. Well, last year we had over 250 participants. It's open to the public and you can come in costume. Um, you can wear a witch hat or you can actually dress as a witch and we have a costume contest so that people can you know be judged or you can just come and wear whatever you want to wear and we have raffle baskets and we have this year we have 28 raffle baskets and so you would buy a card you can't see what's on the card but you would buy the ticket and you would mark what raffle basket you'd like to have and i brought a couple baskets that i could tell you about if you'd like to know and you don't have to be present to win and the tickets will go into whatever basket you checked. We also have vendors. We have, um, is it 20, 20 vendors this year and it has women's clothing, jewelry, seasonal active, uh, seasonal items, um, home items and things, things of that nature. So people walk around and they go to the vendors and then they get their raffle tickets in their baskets. And then there's also a silent auction. They can look at, objects on the silent auction. We have paintings this year. Um, I can't really uh, read it. I, I, we have a staycation in Detroit at two nights at the MGM with two buffet dinners and also a staycation in downtown Rochester with an overnight stay at the Royal Park. We have original artwork by a local artist, a painting. It's beautiful. So people will bid on those and then you know, whoever is the highest bidder would get those. So this year on a lot of our baskets, we're having, um, e we're having events and activities. People seem to like that, like restaurant tickets and going places like in the auction as well. And- More information can be found on Bewitched and Bedazzled as well as this event. Oh, please, Melinda, continue. Apologies. I was gonna say, show you some of the, the baskets back here. If you can- Yeah, I think I can see. Um, this is like, for instance, this is a car basket. And so this year we're having a few more baskets that women can um, put their tickets in that really are more man oriented. Like one has liquor and cigars and this one has car, car um, coupons and events. And these baskets can be valued between 150 and over $300 a basket. So for a $2 raffle ticket that you mark which basket, you could possibly get a $300 basket. And we also have lots of um, people who have supported it through donations. And those people, those merchants and businesses and doctors, they're all listed in our program so that they can get 
uh, accolades for that kind of, you know, support to the theater. More information on Bewitched and Bedazzled can be found on MeadowbrookTheaterGuild.com. That's theater spelled with uh, T-R-E at the end. MeadowbrookTheaterGuild.com for more information. The event is Thursday, October 12th, 9.30 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the Palazzo Grand in uh, Shelby Township on Van Dyke Boutique Shopping. Lunch, of course, basket raffles, and costume judging also uh, at this event. $65 per person, and of course those $2 raffle tickets, a lot of fun. Uh, some prizes, the great food, and wonderful event supporting Michigan's largest producing professional theater. And, and uh, Jenny, going back to you, the fundraisers like Bewitched and Bedazzled, you have another one, the Luncheon on the Isle, that, and other events throughout the year that are raising funds for this theater. Just how much do these events really contribute to the Meadowbrook Theater being able to provide that high caliber, high quality professional theater all year year round entertaining residents in Oakland County and those coming in from surrounding areas. When you go into the theater, look up at the lights, look at the seats, look at the costumes. We have contributed uh, money over a million dollars to the theater since our inception 46 years ago. 100% of our profits go to supporting all aspects of the theater. And these are ways that you can participate and have a lot of fun, but also support the theater all year round. Again, more information can be found on MeadowbrookTheaterGuild.com. MeadowbrookTheaterGuild.com. You can also find them on Facebook at Facebook.com slash MeadowbrookTheaterGuild uh, to follow along with them all throughout the year. See pictures of last year's event also and find plenty of more information. And, and on their website, if you click on their Bewitched and Bedazzled event, you can find even more information too on vendor information. Send them an email, contact information if you have other questions or other ways that you'd want to participate. And uh, Melinda, going back to you uh, for, for this, uh, all throughout the year, there are plenty of different shows that are happening at, Meadowbro at the Meadowbrook Theater and other events all throughout the year. So if people are looking for something to attend or they're looking for a really fun way to enjoy entertainment in our community, why is the Meadowbrook Theater a great location for that? It's a great location because it's easy to get to. The parking is perfect, especially if there's people that have disabilities. You come right in up off the ramp and you're right there at the theater. Um, the box office is easy to access, and the tickets are only $35. It, dep it, $30, um, $35 yeah, it depends on the night that you go. Also, if you attend Bewitched and Be Dazzled, you gain, uh, or in your uh, packet, you get a... Um, in your welcome coupon. packet. In your welcome packet, you get a uh, buy one, get one for a free mm -hmm. ticket for either a Wednesday night or a Sunday night performance. So two people can see a show for the price of one. And and the shows are great. You're, you know, you're up close. It's a smaller theater. Um, it, the stage props are amazing. I've never seen some of the plays that I've seen at Meadowbrook that have this caliber of staging and props and set design it's amazing and as, and as the and costumes and as theater guild members we you know we often go back scene after one of our luncheons and we can see how these things are put together and on another note we are having a costume show at the bewitched and bedazzled that will include some of the guild members wearing previous costumes from some of the plays and that'll be fun i've never seen that myself so i'm looking forward to seeing mm -hmm. some of my friends dressed <laughs> up in these costumes it's going to be fun yeah it's going to be different and fun this year yeah look yeah, it looked like a ton of fun last year. You're looking to make it even bigger yeah. and even better in 2023. And, and people can participate October 12th, 9.30 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the Palazzo Grand in Shelby Township, supporting the Matterbrook Theater out of Rochester Hills in northern Oakland County. And again, more information can be found on Bewitched and, uh, be, and the Bewitched and Bedazzled page at Meadowbrook Theater Guild. Dot com. Joining us on the program is Melinda Reber, the publicity chair with the Meadowbrook Theater Guild, as well as their president, Jenny Walsh, on today's program, too. Jenny, uh, going back to the, to the Theater Guild and the work that you're doing to support this theater, what inspired you to join the Theater Guild and to put this sort of work in to be an ambassador for this great ambassador of entertainment and, uh, and uh, performing arts in our local communities? I asked her that this morning. It's a funny, it's a funny story. So my dad was one of the founding um, 
members of our faculty members of Oakland University. We moved here from Milwaukee in uh, 1960, and my mom thought he had moved her to the boondocks. And because you think about what this area was back then, there was not much here. Anyway, uh, the theater uh, closed during the holidays. So Thanksgiving break, Christmas break, uh, midwinter break, there wasn't, uh, they didn't have the students to be ushers, but the theater was still running. And my dad said, I got seven kids, they'll come and work. And so we did. So starting as a middle school uh, student, I was a voluntold usher and worked there at the theater, seeing the shows for free, sitting on the steps and really, really enjoyed it. So grew up, moved away. And when we retired, when I retired and we moved back here to Rochester, I immediately, the first thing I did, I retired in July and I joined the guild in that September. So I've been an active member since September of 2018 and just love it. It's a, a great way to uh, connect with the theater and connect with uh, meeting a lot of really great people to hang around with. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And, and Melinda, you know, much like Jenny had said, you don't join a group like this. You don't put forth this sort of volunteer effort like you do for something that you're not passionate about, that you don't really care about and have a lot of love in your heart for. So for you personally, where does that love spark from for the Meadowbrook Theater? And for you, uh, much like Jenny, to put this sort of work into plan an event like Bewitched and be dazzled and support this organization throughout the year? Well, to tell you the truth, I had season tickets to the plays in Detroit prior to moving. I lived in De uh, Dearborn. And when I moved out here, I was really concerned with, you know, how am I going to find a new group of people to hang with? And I, I had a lot of priorities. And one of them was theater. And I knew that we had Meadowbrook, but I hadn't been out here except a few times because it was a little far from Dearborn to come out by myself or whatever. So my neighbor got me involved because she's also in the guild. And then I met these women. We have 45 paying members in the guild now and we are a very active group when we have a meeting most everyone comes if they can and i've never been associated with a volunteer group that had that amount of participation and dedication so you know when when we get asked to do something it's just a sign up thing so there's no pressure although i ended up as publicity chair kind of by default because there wasn't anything else to sign up for so here i am you got to sign up early yeah, or you <laughs> end up with this job <laughs> it hasn't been so bad. It's More just information on Bewitched. Well, we, we appreciate both of the work, uh, the work that both of you are doing to help the Meadowbrook Theater uh, through the Meadowbrook Theater Guild and the volunteer opportunities uh, that you have undertaken in order to support this gem of a theater we have right here in Oakland County. You can find more information on the Meadowbrook Theater Guild at MeadowbrookTheaterGuild.com. And of course, that's also the place you can go to buy tickets for Bewitched and Be Dazzled Thursday, October 12th from 9.30 to 2 p.m. at the Palazzo Grand in Shelby Township. Melinda, Jenny, thank you both so much for being with us today. Thanks thank for you having, having us. us.